Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children. Because history is edited, most people today don't realize that, to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? It isn't, but apparently saying that is a fireable offense according to Disney. Disney finally fired Gina Carano. For those who don't know, she played the character Cara Dune on The Mandalorian, and that received much fan love and much far-left hate because of her willingness to speak her mind and not back down. The far-left have been after her for most of 2020 because of statements she's made on social media clapping back at their antics and not bending the knee when they demanded it. I mean, if I were them, I wouldn't want her to take a knee because then she'd have more leverage, but then again, I'm not a pussy. And the most bizarre part about this is that nothing I've found from Gina sounds that bad. The Twitterati have demanded Disney fire over the most middling clapbacks imaginable. The woman is not hidden below the belt. She just takes the piss out of people. And then these idiots want her to be fired for it. For example, they tried to force her to support BLM. And as you'd expect, plenty of them were assholes about it. Does this look like a woman who's going to be intimidated by a bunch of soy boys and cat ladies? Don't think so. Would you like to know the withering hate bill invective she hurled at these tender-hearted little children? This, quote, In my experience, screaming at someone that they are racist when they are indeed not a racist, and any post and or research you do will show you those exact facts, then I'm sorry. These people are not educators. They are cowards and bullies. Oh, the humanity. The gall, the unmitigated gall to make a reasonable response to the nonsense being thrown her way. But no, people accused her of being racist because she pointed out that these people had no evidence and no right to call other people racist and for pointing out that the BLM riots happened and were ironically racist. Then we've got the business with the pronouns. These jackasses demanded that she put her pronouns in her Twitter bio. Why? You're not going to refer to her directly by the pronouns. Why do you need this? You don't. But you also don't need to brand her refusal to do this as transphobia, which they did. According to them, if you don't put your pronouns in your bio, then you're not being a good ally and normalizing this nonsense that literally applies to 0.004% of the population. So, she changed her bio to include the pronouns they were asking for. Beep bop boop. Well played, Gina. This pissed off the far left even more, but even when she says she talked to Pedro Pascal about it and was fine with other people putting pronouns in their bios but wasn't going to do it herself, that wasn't enough. They kept attacking her, and they would do this at random. At least once a week, the hashtag Fire Gina Carano would trend on Twitter, not because she did anything, but because that's how petty these people are. She didn't bend the knee, and they won't let it go. Now we come to her Instagram post, which appears to have been a repost, not something she wrote herself, although I could have that wrong. I'll repeat the statement just so you see how retarded Disney is for firing her over this. Quote, Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children. Because history is edited, most people don't realize that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them for simply being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? It isn't. And for those saying that this is a false or bad comparison, the Nazis didn't just target Jews. They also targeted their political opponents using the exact method Disney used, firing people for not holding the so-called right views, and by inciting regular people, not just government pawns, to target anyone who didn't fall in line. The implication of the statement is 100% true. The way the Nazis were able to round up scores of people was by first getting people to hate whoever it was they would target, so that none of them would complain when those people were removed, just like none of them would complain when those people were beaten or killed. And for an extra bit of irony, all the people complaining about the comparison are the same people who spent the entire summer of 2020 supporting and encouraging violence against conservatives. Trump supporters, both genuine and suspected, were attacked and killed. One man who killed a Trump supporter got an interview with a major news outlet that portrayed him, the murderer, as the victim. There are sitting Democrat members of Congress currently calling for spying on conservatives. You've got a talking head calling for re-education camps. you got another one comparing conservatives to ISIS 
and saying they should be bombed with drones. This is not in Gina Carano's head or whoever it was who wrote the original post. This shit is happening and it's coming exclusively from the left. And I'm not talking about the far left. This is the regular left. These are the people who voted for Biden. These people are dangerous. And the more power you give them, the worse it's going to get. You don't have to take my word for it. Remember, these people said on international television that they want to re-educate, spy on, arrest, and bomb American citizens who aren't progressive. It's coming directly out of their mouths. At some point, you have to take these people at their word. They're not joking. I know some of you think they are. They ain't. After the man that killed the Trump supporter by walking up to the man and shooting him in the back of the head, the BLM leader on the scene basically says she was glad that it happened to thundering applause. They were happy the man was killed because he was white and supported Trump. And the ultimate irony is that Gina Carano is being punished for making the same kind of statements that were made by the people who fought a revolution for her to be able to make the damn statements. We fought a revolution because we didn't have representation in parliament. We compare this to tyranny on the scale of genocide and, ironically, slavery. Don't take my word for it. Go and read separatist and patriot writings from the 1770s. They were saying that shit over getting taxed. Gina Carano is saying this over people actively stating in public, as serving members of Congress, that they want to brainwash, spy on, arrest, and kill American citizens who don't agree with their politics. If ever there was a point to make the comparison of your situation to that of a fascist one-party ruled government that turns the populace against a group, strips that group of their human rights, and seeks to kill all of them, it's basically when you have members of a one-party ruled government literally trying to turn the populace against a group and actively strip that group of their rights. You're watching them do it. What other proof do you need? Now, where this goes for Gina Carano, I don't know. Hollywood is a fickle bitch, so it's up for grabs of what will happen. Some people are saying they're going to boycott Disney+. Plus. Baby, you don't need to do that. It's already tanking, and we already saw how effective that was with Cuties and Netflix, which was not at all. This will probably lose a ton of the goodwill Luke's appearance got for Star Wars. And with the racist bullshit from the High Republic host already taking a chunk out of that, this is the last thing Disney needs. There are far more people who will be against Gina's firing than there will be people flocking back to Star Wars because of it. You've lost hundreds of thousands of fans to appeal to a bunch of dipshits on Twitter. Nice job, Disney. But this type of thing is going to continue until people finally stop going along with it. We're not seeing people get fired over actually offensive or out of line statements. Now it's purely political. And I know this because scores of lefty actors have made the same comparison or worse in the last five years, and they still have their jobs. We've seen numerous people make Holocaust comparisons on the left. I'm looking at you, AOC. Tell me who's been fired. If ever there was a time to stand up to this bullshit, it's now. You can't let this shit slide. Whether it's them targeting Gina Carano, Chris Pratt, or some random dude working a normal job. This shit has to stop. And the only way it does is if we as a group stand up and fight back. The idea that you should be punished for so-called wrong thing that there is a consequence to expressing contrary political views is dangerous. We know where this goes. The 20th century is chock full of examples of where this goes, and it's always at this point, when they're unpersoning people, where it can last be stopped before turning violent. That's how dangerous this is, and we can't play this game. The line must be drawn here, and you're going to need to stand your ground and defend it, because these people are not going to stop. If they're going to take you out, at least go down like Gina and make them work for it. But it'll be a hell of a lot harder for them to succeed if we all stand together. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.